So we've got our Bobcat in here. And we are repainting it, making it look good. Kevin, how long have you been working on this? About a day? Yeah, about a day. Sanding everything down. All right, Kevin, come back here. Tell me, tell me, tell me the steps you're going through. Clean it, prep it, sand it, primer it, um, smooth it all off so it gets ready for the paint, and then uh, paint it. So let's see. You got any of your paint cans? We're just using this primer, Duplicolor, some. Self etching primer. But you can see we're going along. All the rust, we're just grinding all the little nicks down rust. We're feathering them out. The handrail here. I think every bobcat gets dinged up down here. We had a little nick. We just uh, smooth that out. Then we'll come back and I'll sand this a little bit more, feather it out, paint it white. We're going to paint the rims too. So we're like halfway done. So we'll show you when we get it all finished sanded and we start painting it. All right. So Kevin's been sanding. All we're using is just a DA sander with, uh, what paper is this? 120? Yeah, it's 120. 120. So that everything looks like this. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got we've got like two or three coats on the door, and you can see we've just gone around and sanded everywhere and touched up the paint. We're going to be covering all this with aluminum foil so we don't get paint on all the hoses. Right here is where the uh, like the anti-slip decal is. We just sanded that off. We've got a new one coming for like twenty dollars from Bobcat. Um, you know all this we're sanding all this working on it what we're going to do next is we started down here we painted the gray down here where we cleaned it we're going to tip the cab up after we lower the arms down and paint the black on this first then we'll cover all this in plastic tape off the bottom and then the last thing we'll do is paint it up white this is the etching primer we sand down any little rust spots or nicks Paint it with the etching primer, and then you come back and you paint it with this gray primer, and then you sand it so everything's smooth. We've already started on the wheels. We taped off the valve stem. We just stuck a paper in this edge, sanded them down, and I mean those things, and we did the insides. So and the, they're just dust on the tires. So, you can see we've got a little bit of paint here. We just touched this up with uh, some spray paint cans and some areas. Now we're going around and we're going to scuff the whole thing and we're going to spray a coat of this charcoal. We're going to... One thing we found that works pretty good is if you take uh, like a... Uh, I guess it's like heavy duty tin foil, you get it like Sam's Club, really thick stuff. You can actually squish it around and crimp it and it'll hold its shape and then you can tape it up versus paper or plastic kind of this is hard to work with all right so tonight we are unwrapping it we painted it a couple hours ago i must confess on the cab we painted it and all the paint crinkled because we used rags that had been washed in fabric softener so we went to lowe's and got some rags that are clean um and wiped it all down and we had to repaint the cab so it has taken us about three or four extra days to paint this thing. So, mm -hmm. all right, so the spray gun we use is just a gun that you get from Lowe's. It's cobalt, I guess it's just cobalt. You know, it's like $89. One thing I would recommend is getting the uh, little filter here. It'll keep if there's any condensation in your line from getting to the gun. And you can't see it, but there's, as yeah, this one's got overspray on it, but there's a little green area and that's what you want to stay in with your pressure the paint we use we just picked up at the bobcat dealer this stuff is actually really good it's pre-mixed it's like thirty dollars for a quart 
We used one quart on all of the, well, we used two quarts because we had to do it twice. But one quart will do the black, three quarts. Was it three quarts or two quarts, Kevin? The white? White. It was, all, it was two and a half quarts. Two and a half quarts will do the white, so you have to buy three. And then one quart for the orange, or you can use spray cans, but we just bought a quart of orange because we're going to use it on some other stuff. So what's that total? One, two, three, four. so five quarts of paint. So about $160 in paint. So for probably $350, you can have a, a Bobcat that actually, you know, looks really nice. So if you're thinking about repainting it, you can go the spray paint way and just touch it up. But after a couple months, you know, you'll, you'll really be able to tell you, you touched it up. But this way, the whole thing's painted. And it's looking really good. Mm -hmm. All right, so a tip that I saw on YouTube was anywhere there's hydraulic lines, use aluminum foil instead of paper and tape. The aluminum foil, you can actually mold it around the lines and then just put some tape to hold it, and it works really good. You can see we still got these lines up here, but if you look at these lines, I mean, no paint on them at all. So that was a pretty good idea. Okay, so a lot of the decals, we just uh, took a, what was it, a scouring pad on a die grinder and just ground them off. But some decals that are really hard to get to, we just taped over them. So let me show you this one. The easiest thing to do is just put your piece of tape over them and then just take a razor blade and cut around the edge. And then your tape is cut to the exact same size. of the sticker and then when you peel your tape off it looks like your sticker's always been there and sure I mean there might be little bleeds here and there but I mean we're not trying to make this thing look restored we just want it to look good so when we're working on the customer's property it's something that we can be proud of looks pretty good I mean that that's gonna look really good when we get these stuck up there Kevin, what do you think? We're gonna put the rims up there. We also painted the rims, but we did that with spray paint. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put the rims up there to see what it kind of all looks like. Pretty excited. Hey, one thing to remember, uh, the, I kind of learned uh, the hard way, and I guess maybe it's common sense for most people, but the tires are directional and the valve stems are only on one side. So you gotta make sure that you have the valve stem facing out on the right side for two tires and then the bow stem has to be facing on the left side. We went and got these mounted and we actually had all the bow stems facing the same direction on the right. So no matter, we had to actually turn the tire around backwards so that the bow stem would be facing out. So if that doesn't make sense, go look at a Bobcat and you'll understand.